This new JWST image is really beautiful, and I was genuinely shocked when I actually learned what it was showing. To me, it first looked like some sort of cosmic highway of red dust and stars, with a stunning background of distant galaxies. When I read about it though, and saw it was meant to be an image of two dwarf galaxies in the foreground, connected by that red bridge of gas, I was really surprised, and also really struggled to actually find those foreground galaxies, that were allegedly the focus of the image. We're not looking for any of those beautiful but small galaxies in the background. They're stunning, but they are not the focus of the image. I really couldn't find these dwarf galaxies we were meant to be looking at. So, I looked up images from the Hubble Space Telescope of these dwarf galaxies individually to play a game of Spot the Galaxy in Webb's new image. I'm going to show them to you now, and the only clue I'll give you is that one is in the left half and one is in the right half of JWST's image. But can you spot them? And can you do it faster than I did? I'd love to hear from you in the comments either way. Is it obvious and I was just missing it, or did you also struggle? Let's zoom in a little bit and have a look one by one. On the left side, apparently a dwarf galaxy called NGC 4490 occupies the image. Can you spot it? What if I rotate the Hubble image a little bit? Well, it took me a while, but it fits in right here. Obvious when you know, I guess, but I really struggled. On the right, we have NGC 4485, allegedly. Again, with a bit of rotating and squinting, I find that it fits in right here. These two dwarf galaxies are interacting, and really are connected by this beautiful road of red space gas. They're separate galaxies outside the Milky Way, about 24 million light years away, which makes them the closest pair of interacting dwarf galaxies with both a gas bridge and resolved stars in the galaxies. That is, beside the Milky Way satellites of the large and small Magellanic Clouds. We don't count them because they're just too close to us. I keep calling this pair, which is collectively known as ARP 269, dwarf galaxies. They got this name partly because they are less massive than other sort of regular galaxies, but they're also super interesting objects in their own right. Dwarf galaxies likely share many similarities with young galaxies in the early universe. They are much less massive than galaxies like the Milky Way. They typically have small amounts of metals, which is what astronomers call elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, and they contain a lot of gas and relatively few stars. When nearby dwarf galaxies collide, merge, or steal gas from one another, it can tell us how galaxies billions of years ago might have grown and evolved. In fact, this image is a combination of near-infrared light and mid-infrared light from JWST. Plus, they've used a single wavelength of light from Hubble data too. It reveals NGC 4490 and NGC 4485 in never-before-seen detail and illuminates the bridge of gas and stars that connects them. The regions of bright blue speckled throughout the red stream is hot ionized gas. The bridge was created when the two galaxies whizzed past one another, interacting gravitationally and pulling gas into this red streamer. This also caused a lot of new stars to form, as the gas and other material was compressed during the interaction, and the hot new stars heated up and ionized that gas we can see glowing blue in this image. It's cool that these galaxies are close enough, and JWST is sensitive enough, that we can see individual stars in these galaxies too, which isn't possible with more distant galaxies. It means researchers can map out where old, young, and even middle-aged stars are, and build up a timeline of the galaxy's interactions. This has taught us new things about how dwarf galaxies interact, giving us a glimpse of how small galaxies near and far grow and evolve. Plus, it's really pretty. Leave me any remaining questions you have about all of this in the comments down below, and check out another video or our merch in the description if you fancy that too. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!